All right, so my name is John with Just Add Power, and I'm going to talk a little bit today about our HDMI distribution system over IP based networks. So, what we have here on our screens behind us is an HDMI matrix of three different sources on four different TV screens, and every about 10 seconds or so, we are switching between different sources. Most HDMI switching takes several seconds to accomplish, and there's a delay, you lose image. If you're seeing with these, it's as quick as a scene change on TV. Instant seamless switching. It's one of the best things that we offer. Our product basically is very simple. It's fairly plug and play. We basically take our transmitter device, and we take HDMI on the input, we encode that into an IP data stream. This is not a Balin. It's an actual IP matrix. Encode that into a data stream, run it out into a managed network switch. Switches can be from anybody, Cisco, Netgear, Dell, whoever. Our preference these days is the Cisco SG300 or 500 series. Send that out over the managed switch. It then comes in, goes out to a receiver. That receiver takes the Ethernet coming in, gives us HDMI out. We are fully HDMI certified, fully HDCP compliant, and we have solved the HDCP key issue. So we can send a, device, a, a video source to as many screens as you want, literally thousands of screens. So there's pretty much nobody has made a matrix yet that we cannot solve in terms of size. Um, we have several form factors of these, different feature levels. We have a rack mount version of our transmitter which contains up to which contains three transmitters in a single 20 uh, uh, you know standard 1U rack unit we have a HDSDI unit that will transmit take your HDSDI input and standard SDI as well send that out over our networks it can then be converted basically right into HDMI we have an aircraft grade receiver as well that's fully FAA certified for use in aircraft and has a 28 volt power bus on that some of the other features of the product are we like we were saying we run on standard managed network switches so this switch here is a Cisco SG300 it's a 10 port switch that's doing all of our video matrixing here that guy is about a $300 switch can be had just about anywhere so we take the cost out of video matrixing these are for example is uh, our transmitter and receiver hardware active in use here at the show and uh, how we do this and how we do the switching is every transmitter every gets a every video source gets a transmitter every transmitter is assigned permanently to a particular VLAN on the switch so if you have say five video sources five transmitters and we put five VLANs on the switch then for what we want to watch every TV gets a receiver and then we basically just tell the switch, hey, put the port that this receiver is plugged into onto this VLAN. Oh, we want to switch it. Now we change VLANs. So we move our receivers between VLANs. That allows us to instantly and seamlessly switch. We can move multiple TVs at the same time and switch any number of TVs instantaneously as well. So it ends up being a very flexible, very responsive, very fast system and at a price point that absolutely blows away most of the other matrix companies that are out there. Um, we support Dolby Digital formats on the audio as well for distribution. We don't support the HD audio formats, but any Dolby Digital uh, 5.1, 6.1, 7.1, THX, we support those. Um, every one of our hardware devices also comes with a built-in serial port that can be addressed so now we have a serial over IP based network as well for remote control of devices for interfacing with your control system we have software for PC or Mac that will control the video matrix and can run on, on a computer based system we also have drivers available for all the major control systems that are available we also provide have software available that will do the configuration of the switches and the hardware and makes it so that a non-IT person can set up the system and get it running
And anything else? All right. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show.